We're making cheese out of acorns. The first step is weird and doesn't have anything to do with acorns at all. You're either gonna need some store-bought sauerkraut or you're gonna need to lacto-ferment something yourself. I'm massaging salt into these greens. In a couple of days, the liquid that comes out of these greens is gonna be the go-go juice for our cheese. I hope my makeup looks this good when I'm finishing this video. Time to hide our soon-to-be lacto-bacteria-filled goodness so it can do its thing in the dark. Now we have some acorn. Now we have some acorns and some water, and we're gonna give them a blend. Glug, 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 Tree nuts go burn. Straining time. Save your liquid to make some acorn jelly later, but what we need are the grounds. We're gonna put our acorn grits into some cold water so it can start to leach the bitter tannins out. And that's all we gotta do today. See you in like 48 hours. Normal, casual. What? It's 48 hours later, and honestly, today's hair and makeup is a vibe too. I changed the water on these here acorn grits a bunch of times so they ain't bitter no more. Now, we gotta dry them off. What's this? A tray of acorn grits that I already prepped ahead of time in the dehydrator? Movie magic. Now give those grounds a roast a at 350 for 15. While those are getting roasty toasty, let's prepare our mixins. Now in our spice grinder, we have some puffball mushroom, it's dried, some seaweed, it's gutweed, and some nutritional yeast. In the book Wildcrafted Fermentation, Pascal uses nutritional yeast in his acorn cheese, and I didn't do it last time, and it was not that good. So I'm going to listen this time. Instructions are important. If you want to see the video of how I made less good acorn cheese, just ask, I'll post it. Blendy, blendy. Time to retrieve our go-go juice. Yeah. If it smells like sauerkraut, you did a good. Now we have our roast nut bits and add a little go-go juice to a baby food processor. Loud noises. I need a little oil. I'm using hickory oil. You can use what you got in your house though. Now that it's starting to look a little nut buttery, we're gonna put in our flavor dust. Things are looking smooth. Let's take a little taste. Y'all. I need to let this age for another 24 hours, but I kind of just want to eat it all now. No, I must follow the rule. I'm gonna let the go-go juice do its work into the fermentorium to ferment. See you tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Yum, 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 yum. Time to give it another taste and decide what it needs. Some smoked hickory syrup for sweetness and smokiness and some salted ramp leaves for deliciousness. Boop. Okay, let's see where we're sitting. Ooh, that's good. Time to get it in the dehydrator. <laughs> they're not cute, but they're going in. Bye. Y'all. It's the day. It's cheese day. Acorn cheese day. Don't get mad at me, people who eat cheese. I made a charcuterie board. Okay, enough messing around. Without further ado, trying the acorn cheese. Kashing. You guys, I love it so much. I grew up being obsessed with soft cheese. It kind of reminds me of Camembert with a little more funk. A little nuttiness. Omnivorous partner of mine, how do you feel about the acorn cheese? It was quite good, but I really like the one you keep calling the bad one. No, shh. Happy acorn snacking. Don't die. It's so good.